Hello, wonderful people. Justin here with a quick update on Zotero 7 support for my Google Scholar Citation Count plugin. A lot of requests for this lately. Uh, thank you for the kind emails. I appreciate kindness. Uh, but I haven't had a lot of time to work on this, primarily because I've been working on a couple studies and my dissertation, trying to wrap those things up. But I had a little gap. So I decided to sit down and see about converting this uh, as rapidly as I could. So in this case, we have Zotero 7 running. Uh, you can see that in the extra field, this one already has a GSCC marker for the amount of citations when I last pulled it. Uh, we're gonna look at add-ons real quick. Uh, and you can see that, hey, look, an enabled Google Scholar Citation Count plugin, which literally I just built. Uh, this will likely be 4.0, uh, is at least what my current thinking is. So it is installed. What's cool about this version is Zotero 7 gives you a little bit more flexibility. So if we right click on our columns, you can see that there's a new field, sorry, not field, column called citation count. If we enable it, you can see 47. Cool thing about Zotero 7 is it allows you to create derived columns. So when I put stuff into the extra uh, field that exists in the DB, I can derive that column into this nice fancy looking citation count column. It makes things a little easier to see. Uh, but does it work? Does it work if we do actual stuff? So let's go get a count, update Google Scholar citation count, same place as it normally is, 924. Fantastic, that's what I like to see. Still updates the extra field so that we have some delineation so we can figure out exactly where it is. Do it for this one just to see, uh, 465. You can see it all automatically sorts too because we can sort on this field. So this is a little bit cleaner look. So far so good in terms of converting in it for Zotero 7. Hopefully I'll have it wrapped up in a week once I test the recapacha things a little bit more to make sure that the window pops and we can try to reduce as many Google Scholar errors as possible. So hopefully you found this useful and hopefully I will have this done in the next week or so and we can all start running the 7 beta uh, with the plugin. So hope you have a great week. Justin out.